It's one of the largest auto shows on the planet, and the world's new top vehicle exporter is taking center stage. But Americans will never have the opportunity to buy most of these cars. Despite showcasing models from close to 100 different Chinese automakers, this event in Beijing is more like a fight for survival than it is a car expo. These car makers will need to attract Western buyers to stay in business. And with a comparably cheaper price point to US models, about $20,000 less expensive on average, they have a good head start. But several factors are working against Chinese EVs coming to US shores. The US has placed high tariffs on these vehicles to prevent them from entering the American auto market. That's prevented Chinese car companies from establishing product distribution channels in the States. And as the ongoing trade war continues between these two nations, the situation is likely to continue. So while things like 180 degree rotating seats or a car dubbed an iPod on wheels sounds pretty cool, features like these are probably still a long ways away from hitting the states.